You are listening to The Diary of a Wannabe Writer, presented by Richard A. Boxshaw, in which I chronicle my life and attempts to become a professional writer by, you know, doing some writing. Daily. Hopefully. Hello, it is Sunday the 16th of June. Welcome to The Diary of a Wannabe Writer. Um, Sorry about yesterday. It literally didn't even mention writing. I got so carried away by the fact that I'd managed to produce a version of my song that I was so pleased with that I didn't even, um, I didn't mention writing at all, which is unusual for me. I possibly said Diary of a Wannabe Writer and then shot straight into talking about the song. Anyway, today is about writing. So my plan was to do a live stream today, um, but I may not. It all depends on how long it takes me to sort out my cover letter. So um, as I have mentioned in the past, I have chosen three agencies to submit to. One of the agencies has a list of individual agents and what they are looking for. Um, So I have read through all of those. And there are two in there that pique my interest and think that the English Ikikomori would be the right book for. And I'm kind of thinking um, with an eye to the future as well. Um, But I think, unfortunately, um, because of uh, English Ikikomori in the terms of genre is very, very different to everything else I have written and probably everything else I intend to write. So whilst I'm very, very proud of it, it isn't an accurate representation of the the kind of work I would normally produce. Uh, And and looking at one particular agency, the the agent that I'm submitting the English Hikikomori to would probably not be the agent I would submit still life to, for example. But that's not a problem. I mean, I want to get going with the English Hikikomori and get that submitted. So yes, yeah, so one of the agencies just um, asks you to choose your agent. So I have read through all their different pages and what they're looking for, and I have chosen an agent. And then the other two just ask you to email it to them, and I guess they will distribute it internally depending on who they think is most interested in it, I guess. Um, so I've done that, and I've also written down uh, exactly what each of the individual agents look for in the cover letter. So um, basically, it's going to be what the novel is about, about me, um, and so on. And, and and they ask you about your writing ambitions. Well, my writing ambitions are to have a novel published, basically, and to be able to continue to do it whilst continuing to work in my, my job as cabin crew. Um, I mean, the, the ultimate dream would be that I start... You know, I actually get stuff published and it does OK and perhaps can go part time as cabin crew. I am technically part time already, but I get one week off in eight. So it's only like 87 and a half percent of full time. But my ultimate ambition would be to go down to 75 or 50 percent if, you know, the book thing would ever take off. This is, you know, the ideal world. I mean, in, in the real world, I very much doubt I'll, you know, I'll send these off. And if I'm very lucky, I'll get an individual response. But the reality is I probably won't. Um, I'm worried a little bit about the whole mental health aspect of the book, because I do wonder male mental health is something we are talking about more now. But I do wonder if maybe I've missed the boat a little bit on that, that maybe I should have done it a year or two ago. Um, but then there's still, I mean, I read a book um, last year which was written by, oh goodness, it's the son of one of the Spandau Ballet guys who's now, I think he presents the one show now, but he's certainly a radio or TV presenter now. And he wrote a rather moving book about um, his producer on his radio station committing suicide. Although, Again, the difference between his book is it was a true story and it talked about how he mentally dealt with it and all that kind of stuff. Um, And mine is fiction and it's not meant to be anything other than fiction. So it'd be very interesting. It's kind of difficult to look at where the book sits in the market. That's the bit of the letter, I think. A lot of them want to know where it sits in the market and I'm not quite sure personally where it does. I have tried to do some research into books on male mental health or or where that's a major theme. but I haven't really got time to read them. So I've been recommended things like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which I bought but I haven't read yet. Um, The Something of the Fall, I can't remember what it's called, which turns out I've already read because I bought it and then discovered I already had it, so it was obviously that memorable. And the other one that's been recommended to me, kind of in that broad theme, is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Now, 
I read To Paradise by Hanya Yanagihara and absolutely loved it. Um, so uh, A Little Life isn't something it's going to be a stretch to have to read. But on the other hand, I, I want to get this cover letter done sooner rather than later and I won't have had time to read it. So one thing I might do, I did say I would get the cover letter finished today. I think it will be by and large finished today, but I'm, I'm going to do a little more research. I'm going to go into a couple of bookshops, uh, including my wonderful local bookshop suddenly on Sheaf Street, and maybe get a little more advice on what might sit within the market. It's a bit weird because with my local bookshop, I don't want to tell them I'm a wannabe writer. Unless, of course, something happens and I get published, in which case, obviously, I'll be very proud to tell them. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try and find another um local sort of non-waterstones non you know i can't think of any other chains they used to be borders didn't they but they went under but yeah so that's why anyway that's why i haven't done a live stream today i am uh into the process of writing composing uh, my cover letter and getting the, all, all the information i need for it so yes i set myself the deadline at the end of today and i think the first draft will be done by the end of the day which i think was the the target i set myself um but then i'm going to obviously get a couple of people to look at it before i send it and also do a little bit more research into books that might be of a similar genre to the english hikikomori that's it for today thank you for listening and i'll talk to you again tomorrow bye bye You have been listening to The Diary of a Wannabe Writer, presented by Richard A. Boxall. Thank you for tuning in to my random ramblings. And if you'd like to know more about me or my projects, visit my link tree at l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e forward slash Richard Wright, capital R, capital W. Thank you for listening.